Stop everything you're doing. If you currently own a MetaQuest 3, or if you were just about to pull the trigger on a new VR headset, you need to pause. We are standing at a massive crossroads in technology. For years, VR has been a cool gadget. A fun toy. But in 2026, the game changes forever. Mark Zuckerberg and Meta are currently working on a device so powerful, so immersive, and so disruptive, that it's rumored to make the Apple Vision Pro look like a prototype from the past. This is the Meta Quest 4. And today, we are going to peel back the curtain on every single secret, every leaked document, and every internal memo from Reality Labs. Welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. We aren't just talking about a small upgrade. We are talking about the Pismo project, the code name for the device that is designed to kill the traditional gaming console. By the end of this video, you will know why the Quest 4 is the most important piece of tech released this decade, and why some insiders are saying it will be the last headset you ever need to buy. The secret war for your eyes. Let's be real. The Quest 3 was amazing, but it wasn't perfect. The pass-through was a bit grainy. The battery life was okay at best. And the black levels. Let's just say dark rooms in horror games looked more like gray rooms. But Meta has been watching. They've been watching the competition, and more importantly, they've been watching us. The development of the Quest 4 isn't just about making things faster. It's about presence. That moment where your brain forgets you're in a living room and truly believes you are on a spaceship or in a fantasy forest. To achieve this, Meta is undergoing a massive hardware shift. The leaks are pointing to two distinct models, the Quest 4 and the Quest 4 Premium. But why two models? Because Meta realized that the market is splitting. There are people who want an affordable gateway into the metaverse, and there are enthusiasts who want the god-tier specs. Today, we focus on what makes the Quest 4 the giant leap we've been waiting for. Visual Revolution, the death of the LCD. If there is one thing that will make you forced to upgrade, it's the display. For years, Meta has stuck with LCD panels to keep costs down. It worked, but it lacked that pop. The Quest 4 is rumored to finally make the jump to Micro OLED. This is huge. Micro OLED allows for infinite contrast. When a pixel is black, it's actually off. No light bleed. No gray haze. Imagine playing a space sim like Elite Dangerous or a horror game like Alien Isolation. The void of space will actually be black. But it's not just the panel. It's the resolution. We are hearing reports of a 4K per eye experience. That is a 30% to 50% jump over the Quest 3. This is the retina moment for VR. At this resolution, the screen door effect, those tiny lines between pixels, completely disappears. Text becomes as sharp as a physical book. You could actually work in this headset for 8 hours a day without eye strain. This isn't just for gaming anymore. This is your new monitor, your new cinema, and your new office. The Brain, Snapdragon XR2 Gen 3. A beautiful screen is useless if you don't have the horsepower to drive it. Enter the Snapdragon XR2 Gen 3. This is the custom silicon beast that will power the Quest 